Hey, what's up guys? Erston here with another video. And on today's video, we're going to be going over these Marco Four Thirds to EF mount adapters for the Blackmagic cameras. We're mainly going to be going over how they work and which one you should get. This might be a short video, I'm not 100% sure, but you know, let's just see what happens. First, let's just go over the normal adapter. I have it right here actually. This adapter right here. We'll save the speed booster for last. I can't really show it to you guys right now because um, I'm using it on my camera, but this B-roll is so suffice, right? Sufficed? 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 I I'm, I'm really bad at English, I've been here for 14 years and I still can't properly pronounce some words. Damn, English is just, English ain't for me, man. So this thing right here is just a simple adapter. It takes the Micro Four Thirds mount on the Blackmagic camera and turns it into an EF mount for um, Canon lenses. If you already have um, Canon lenses and you're not really trying to replace them all with uh, Micro Four Thirds lenses, you can just get this adapter. However, this does have its drawbacks. The biggest one is that this, it's just an adapter. And all it does is adapts lenses. That's it. There's nothing really special about it. Unlike the Metabone Speed Booster that converts your um, Canon lenses into, that kind of converts your Canon lenses into Micro Four lenses, this thing just adapts it. That just means that there's gonna be a lot of cropping if you use this adapter. I think it's a um, 1.7 crop or something. I'm not really sure, don't quote me on that. Unlike the speed booster that has little to no crop at all, depending on which one you get. This, on the other hand, has a lot of crop, which I do not like. As you can see in this example, I recommend this adapter to anyone that just spent their whole budget on the Blackmagic camera and doesn't really have any um, leftover money for anything else. And you know, you just want to adapt your Canon lenses to your Blackmagic camera. Because uh, to be honest with you, that's what I did. That's why I have this adapter. When I first got my Blackmagic camera, I didn't have no money left over for anything else because it was a really expensive camera for for me because I was broke. I, I'm still broke, but you know, uh, yeah, I got this so I can adapt my Canon lenses because I had like a whole bunch of Canon lenses so I could adapt that instead of just buying new Micro Four Thirds um, lenses or selling my Canon lenses. I didn't want to do that. So I just bought this adapter to um, hold me over until I had enough money to buy a speed booster. Um, this adapter is great if you're looking for like a simple and cheap alternative to a speed booster, but eventually you want to look into getting a speed booster because it's a hundred times better than this. I was so happy when I got my speed booster. Um, I didn't get the ultra one, I just got, you know, the normal one, but nonetheless, it still worked um, great for what I needed it for. Unlike the adapter that just, you know, adapts, the speed booster actually talks with your lens. Like they're, they're, like they're chatting to each other. But yeah, like I was saying, um, the speed booster actually talks to your lens and it relates the message from your lens to your camera. So it's like, it passes through or whatever. For example, um, I can control my aperture on my 13, no, 18 to 35 back there through my camera. With this adapter, you can't really do that. And yes, there still is a little bit of crack, crack? No, a little, <laughs> a little bit of crap on the speed booster, but it's not as bad as this adapter. If you get the ultra one, I don't think the ultra one has any crop, but you know, the normal one has just a little bit of crop, not crack, a little bit of crop. <laughs> and the reason why the speed booster has barely any crop is because of this lens. Instead of just letting the light pass right through it, like, you know, the normal adapter, it takes the light and um, it kind of reverse microscopes it so it can fit onto the sensor. Or is that just normal microscope? It works like a microscope, okay? It takes the image and it squeezes it down so it could properly fit on the sensor. Oh, and if you're wondering about the price, um, this adapter was only $30, but that speed booster was $600. That's a big difference, but you know, there's, there's a good reason why. I'm going to have links about what I'm talking about in the description below. And yes, they are affiliate links. So if you click on them and you buy the product, I get a little kickback. So, you know, support the channel by, you know, buying it off of my link instead of you know, others. Anyways, if you're wondering which one to get, well, that all depends on where you are financially. If you have the money, you know, just go for the speed booster or even the ultra one if you want. But if you only have like one Canon lens or you don't have the money right now, but you want to use your Canon lenses on your Blackmagic cameras, 
then for right now, just go for the adapter. Right now, the best speed boosters, to be honest with you, is either the Metabone speed booster or the Veltrox V speed booster. The reason I didn't go for the Veltrox speed booster is because when I looked up some videos about it, I heard, I saw that um, it adds a little bit of haze to the video. It's not as sharp as the Metabone speed booster. So, you know, that's why I went with the Metabone speed booster. And also the Veltrox is like, what, 200 or $300? And the speed and the um, metabone is like six hundred dollars. So I don't know. Maybe it's because it has bad lenses on the Viltrox. That's why it's so cheap. But you know, the speed booster to me, it's been working very well. Like very well. I love it. Okay. Anyways, I hope this video was very helpful to you. And you know, if you if you like this video, then I know for sure you're gonna love this video right here. Okay. It's I talk about you know the best battery battery solution for the Blackmagic Cam. So you know, I know for a fact that you're gonna love this video if you're still here. So, or you can click on my face right here, you know, to subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you guys in my next one.